How do you know when you need both a, a certified financial planner and a, a CPA or a tax attorney? Good question. They're two really different things. And I would say to, when you're at the point for the tax piece, certified uh, uh, tax preparer, when you can't file your own taxes anymore. So things have gotten complicated um, or you don't want to file your taxes anymore. And I would certainly look for uh, a, a CPA to do that. Those are people who can advocate on your behalf with the IRS. You may also find enrolled agents who can prepare and file a tax return for you, but won't go to bat for you uh, with the IRS. And you'll pay somewhere you know, between 700 and 1500, depending on how complicated your taxes are, to file that return. If your spouse has been doing your tax return and they're suddenly incapacitated or passed away or you've divorced, um, especially in the case of a death, that next tax return, I would certainly get some help from a CPA to do it. In terms of a, a certified financial planner, we often come into play when you have um, big decisions to make about how to take a pension, for example, or you've got a lump sum out of your 401k. How do I make this money last the rest of my life? Or you lose income from one spouse and you have to retool some things. If one person has been managing the investments your whole life and you suddenly have to take over and you don't know the difference between a stock or a bond, getting a, a planner or investment manager involved would be really helpful. And I spend a lot of my time educating people. I have a whole presentation on the, here's the basics and what you need to know to make decisions about how to allocate your investments and when to take a distribution and things of that nature. Also, if you're arguing with your spouse about the finances, you can get a professional, just get in the room with them. Everybody suddenly calms down and they'll facilitate the conversation for you.